Thank you, Auntie Pe Peiterman, for your wonderful acknowledgement of the country. I will acknowledge our dignitary today. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the Honorable Anastasia Parashay, the Premier of Queensland and Minister for Trade. We have John Batten, the President of Labour Party Queensland. We have Duncan Pett MP, the member for Stratton, also his parents, Lindsay and Graham. Can I also acknowledge Dr. Jing Chama, the Shadow Treasurer and also the Federal Member for Rankin. <laughs> Graham Parrott MP, the Shadow Assistant Minister for Education and Federal Member for Morton. <laughs> the Honorable Mark Ferno MP, the Minister for Agriculture, Development and Industry Development and Fishery and also the Minister for Rural Communities. The Honourable Dai Farmer, the Minister for Employment and Small Business and Minister for um, Training and Skill Development, also the member for Bulimba. <laughs> Dom Brown MP, the Chief Government Whip, also the member for Kabalaba. <laughs> Peter Russo MP, the State Member for Tuhi and also the Chair for Community Safety, Legal Affairs and Safety Committee. Linus Power, the member for Logan. <laughs> Jessica Peel, the member for Mount Omni. <laughs> Councillor Stephen Juan, the councillor for McGregor Ward. <laughs> and I also acknowledge Hansit Hamoda, who Duncan Pett have lobbied to help him to for the release from Egypt prison after horrific 433 days ordeal. Ladies and gentlemen, now I acknowledge the following community groups. Can I acknowledge the Taipei Economy and Cultural Office in Brisbane, TICO? Can I also acknowledge the Queensland Taiwan Centre, the Australian of the Chinese Heritage War Memorial Committee at Sunnybank RSL? Can I also acknowledge Queensland Taiwan Centre? Can I also acknowledge All Arts and Multiculture Incorporated, FICQ, UMEA, UEMEA, and Queensland Chinese United Council, and also Queensland Multicultural Council, the Distinguished Citizen Society International of Queensland, Cafe Community Association, the Australian Indonesian Culture and Welfare Association, AWTCQ, and also TWLQ, and QCDA, and Copia Gold Coast, and QCF, EWC, ECCQ. Looks like I'm going too fast or too slow. <laughs> and also, can I also annoy the Australian Queensland Fujian Association and Fiji Senior Citizen Association Queensland, and also the Australian Beijing Business and Art Council, Kayabra Community Association, Lazy Digital Music Education Centre, Hong Kong Australia Business Association, Oriental K, also Simply Human and Superhero Without Caps, and the Mini Women Association of Queensland, Ayakuta Brisbane, Queensland Taiwan Friendship Association, Queensland Chinese Orchestra, Queensland German Community, Filipino Australian Foundation of Queensland, Islamic Co Community of Queensland, Iowa, and also Multicultural Community Center, Max in Construction, United Worker Union, and all the Labour Party members, including the Straighton Branch Labour Party member. Can I also acknowledge Column Vale 9 Neighborhood Watch and also Multicultural Labor and Lions Club Brisbane Chinese and Brisbane United Asia Business, business and also Column Vale and Pine Lane and all the other Lions Club. Can I also acknowledge Korean Society of Queensland, the Chinese Ethnic Broadcasting Association of Queensland, Mainland Society, Chinese Society of Queensland, Sunny Bay, Meals on Wheels, Mix Up. Australia, Brisbane First Chinese Scout Group, Siakas Lawyers, Sunnybank Hill State School, Islamic College of Brisbane, Stratton State College, Caribbean Special School, Cullenville Lampet, Stratton Boxing, Red Clay Swing Club, Donald Swing Club, Hurricane Star Club, Rankong Rocket, Brisbane Super King Cricket Club, Queensland Taiwan Charity Fund, 
Amadea Muslim Association, Aya Sama Queensland, Brisbane Estonia Society, Brisbane Punjabi Community Club, Cannonville, Sunnybank, Main Shade. If I miss out anyone, sincere apologies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now would like to invite the Honourable Anastasia Parashre, the Premier of Queensland and Minister for Trade, to speak. During her, his entire time in Parliament, Duncan worked under the leadership of the Premier. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Honourable Anastasia Parashet MP, the Premier of Queensland and also the Minister for Trade. Thank you, Lewis. I don't think I can beat those acknowledgements. How about I say this? First of all, I acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we gather and pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Can I acknowledge the person we are honouring tonight, Duncan Pegg? Let's give Duncan a big round of applause and his family. <laughs> to all of his family that are here, to every single person that's with us here tonight, thank you very much for coming out. And as Lewis said, as he went through all of those names, I think we could solve all the problems of Queensland with the representatives that are in this room tonight. <laughs> and uh, I was just speaking to Duncan and we were talking about who has the most multicultural electorate, whether it's Duncan, me, Cameron or Peter. Duncan wins. Duncan has the most multicultural <laughs> community in Queensland. <laughs> and aren't we proud of the wonderful community that Duncan represents. Uh, tonight is actually a historical moment in time that we all get to share, we all get to share. So anyone who was elected in 2015, put your hands up. There's a few, few people who are in the room here this evening in the historic victory um, when we formed minority government. And that was a great campaign and thank you for everyone who supported us in that campaign. But uh, I often look back and the Ryan government was very reformist and the Goss government was very reformist. I know how much Duncan admires Wayne Goss and likewise I do as well. A great man. And today our government has actually surpassed the length of time of the Goss government. So a Labor government <laughs> delivering and it's wonderful to be part of that history. Now, I know Duncan loves a lot of things. First of all, he loves his family, he loves his community, and he loves parliament. And I think we're very blessed that family, I believe, is the most important thing in your life. There is nothing more important. And I know, I know that because I've met Duncan's family. And secondly, in relation to uh, the community, I think I've always said this to all of the members that it doesn't matter who walks through that door but people are coming to your door as an elected representative to listen to you. It's about people. Being an elected representative is about the people who you care about and sometimes those stories don't get told. They're not in the paper but you are transformational in the lives that you can change and bring about change and whether that's helping with transport, whether it's working with housing, or education but also too being part of that community is being a real community champion it's about bringing people together and that's what our government's fundamentally about it's about bringing people together and achieving and I went through um, the amount of investment that Duncan has been able to get for this local community here in Stretton 49 million dollars for local schools that is incredible <laughs> Absolutely incredible. And all the upgrades to local roads, that's the sign of a true local champion, someone who puts their community first. And now I'll move on to the parliament because Duncan probably doesn't know this. I have a little secret and that is um, many members don't think that I listen all the time to what's happening in the parliament. But uh, being a... a, a a true believer in uh, believing in that institution of Palma, I always have 
the parliament on in the background. And I'll be doing my work and signing and seeing different people coming in. And every now and again, I'd hear Duncan on his feet. And I thought, what's Duncan talking about today? And I'd listen. And then there'd be the interjections. And then there'd be more interjections. And then Duncan would be on his feet and just firing back, telling the opposition how they were wrong and how we were right. And um, I always knew that when Duncan was in the chamber, I didn't have to worry. I didn't have to worry at all because he was a true parliamentarian. And uh, to the other members that are here tonight, I think they would, they're going to tell you some stories as well. But it is an absolute honour to have Duncan as my friend, as the local member for Stretton, and the wonderful accomplishments and achievements. Very few people get the honour of being an elected representative. It is a deep, deep honour. And when I go back to that initial 2015 campaign and when you were pre-selected and we came out and did the campaign launch and all of your team was there, the red shirts, and we didn't know how we were going to go. I mean, we had nine members at the time. You know, pretty big ask. Do you think you're going to win government? Yeah, I think we are. And I know Duncan believed in it as well. Very few people at that time thought we could win government. And Duncan was part of that, such a historic moment for our community and our state. So friends, uh, tonight is going to be a great celebration, an absolute great celebration, because Duncan is an inspiration to each and every one of us. I'm absolutely proud, I'm humbled, I'm deeply honoured to be here tonight, to be with Duncan and everybody who loves him. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Be inspired and go and inspire other people. And God bless everyone. Thank you.